Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Please ignore my unmade bed in the background. I just wasn't that worried about it. So there it is. Blankets and all. Uh, but today I am doing a fall nail look. I realize this is like the first time y'all have seen my face in like a really long time. But here it is. It's my faux hawk. What do you think? So I'm getting ready for work and I need to do my nails because they are bare. This hand I'm telling you. My right hand, where I use it more than my left, it's like I cannot get my nails to like grow and not break. And it absolutely drives me crazy. So, there they are. My fingers are like super crooked. But anyway, I just wanted to do kind of like a fall look. So, if you watched my last video, um, the Orly Color, color Pass for Winter, uh, I'm actually using the red. Um, because I feel like this was like a very fall red. Like, obviously, reds can always be like a winter, especially like a deeper red. But there was like an oranginess to this that I really, really loved. And I haven't used this one yet. And then I wanted to use these little stickers right here. I love the little rain boots. The little, is it cookies? Or bread? It kind of looks like bread. Like bread wrapped in a ribbon. Just super, super cute. We've got like those ready orangey tones. And I feel like the polish will be really, really good. Like matched up with it. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to change my camera angle to where it's just my hands as it normally is. But yeah, that is going to be the look. I'm excited for it. And yeah, let me know if y'all like seeing my face like in the beginning of the videos. It won't hurt my feelings if not because um, I watch several YouTubers um, that do nail polish. And uh, one lady that I watch, I absolutely love her. And I've never seen her face other than her profile picture. But she's like so soothing like with her hands and stuff. And then I also watch Kelly Marissa, and she does, like, a little bit of both. But, I don't know, I really love, like, just watching just the hands for some reason. It's very calming and soothing, and it helps me sleep. Um, so, yeah, I won't be offended if you just want me to keep just doing my hands or, like, sprinkle in my face every once in a while. So, anyway, let's get started on the nail look. Okay, so I have all of my supplies. I have my stickers, and I've already took the plastic film off there. I have scissors to cut out the... Uh, individual stickers that I want. I have some tweezers to dunk them in water and to help place them. I have me a cup of water and then I am using the Orly Breathable Protein Boost as my base coat and the Orly Second Dry Quick Dry Top Coat. It does really good with the type of um, tattoos. And then again using Velvet Ribbon by Orly. So it's an all Orly manicure which I use these for Avery manicure. They're just my favorite. Okay, so I think I am going to put a tattoo on each nail. I usually like to do that. So, I definitely want this donut. I know that for sure. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. For sure getting the boots. I might use this little leaf. I don't know. I'll stick it to the side until I decide. So, there's two for sure. 100% getting the little bread wrapped in the ribbon. Oh, I just realized it's called velvet ribbon and this literally has a red ribbon on it. See, it's just perfect. I knew this was the perfect polish for this manicure. Definitely getting the cupcake and this little hedgehog friend right here. So there's five. Um, for sure getting the pumpkin or gourd or whatever. Some sort of gourd. So there's six. Let's do the little apple on the little leaf sprig here. I think that's super cute. So seven. All right. We'll go ahead and use the pomegranate as well. There's eight. I will go ahead and use this little leaf I already had cut out. So there's nine. So let's pick out one more. Let's do this one to pull in some of that red. It's kind of a smaller one too. So there we go. So there are the 10 tattoos I'll be using. And I don't know what finger I'm doing on each yet or like what tattoo for each finger, but I'm just gonna scoop them to the side until I'm ready. So for now, let's go ahead and put on our base coat. Thank you. 
Okay, so there's my base coat. My nails look like absolute trash. I promise they're clean. They're just like so stained. And I have like nail polish bits that I couldn't get off underneath my nail. It's just a mess. Okay, so my base coat is touch dry. So I'm going to go ahead and start going in with the velvet ribbon polish. Okay, so I went ahead and put a second coat. My cousin called me, so I painted the second coat while I was on the phone. And now I'm just going over top with the uh, uh, Sesh Vite, or however you say this, uh, quick dry top coat before I put on the stickers. This is like the fastest drying top coat that I've found. So it just makes the tattoos go on good. But I don't like to put it over top of the tattoos because it does cause some shrinkage. But for just the polish, it does pretty good. And it'll make them ready to have the tattoos on within like a minute or two. And then I'll top coat the tattoos with the Orly top coat. Okay, so the top dry, the top coat is dry enough for me to go ahead and start putting on the tattoos. So I'm going to start with my pinky. So I'm going to do some of the smaller designs. Like this one's kind of long, but I think it'll mostly fit. I might have to like clip off a little bit. Take my tweezers. And I'm just going to dip this in the water for like 10, 15 seconds, something like that. I'm going to slide it off enough for me to grab the edge with my tweezers. There we go. And then I'm just going to try to place this on my pinky nail. Oh, actually that fit really good. They always like are a little bit smaller than what you think they are. So that's the pinky nail. It'll get rid of all those edges and like that crinkly look when the top coat goes on. So I'm gonna go with this little gold leaf for this pinky. Okay, so here it is. I'm gonna turn my pinky this way. So here is this nail finished. This one has all the food except for the pinky. That wasn't intentional. It was just kind of like the way my nails were. Like I had to pick ones I thought would fit properly. But this one does have a pumpkin and an apple. So like edible stuff there too. Oh my gosh. I'm absolutely in love. Obsessed. Okay. So now for my favorite part is putting on the top coat it just seals everything in makes everything look so seamless and like glossy and pretty and like it melds it into one it just takes it to another level and it's my favorite part
back out a little bit. Look with everything glossy and uniform. That one kind of messed up, but oh my gosh, that cupcake. This hand's my favorite for sure. The cupcake and the bread. Even the pomegranate. Super cute. Little donut. Obsessed. Absolutely in love with it. My kids are screaming like maniacs. They're playing video games. So ignore them. They're not killing each other. I promise. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you think. I am beyond pleased with the way these turned out. The red color was perfect. It still gives fall vibes for sure. Even with my little stubby nails over here, they just look so good. Which shows you can still do nail tattoos and nail art even if you don't have the longest nails. I wish they were all long like over here, but I work with what I've got. Look how beautiful. What is your favorite nail? Okay, I have to look. I really love the bread. I love you all. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.